What is on your mind, Robbie? Fear, anxiety, doubt, you know, a bunch of feel-good thoughts and feelings about where this team is headed. Why is that? Wanda is... gone. And all calls to Banner are going straight to voicemail. Everyone's on edge about it, and that puts me on edge, you know? Try not to worry too much, Robbie. <sighs> Kinda hard not to. Worrying is like Sparky's full-time job. You know, I can't help thinking. The Avengers are so preoccupied with reaching Banner. But I bet no one would notice if I like took off and joined Hydra or just, I don't know, disappeared. Robbie, everyone here would notice, including me. I'm not so sure about that. I am. If you were to fall off the map, I would toil day and night to find you. Yeah, yeah. I guess you are pretty stand-up that way. I try. Uh, well, I guess I should go find Peter. See if he wants to chill. Might take my mind off things, you know? That is a good idea. See you around. I trust your analysis of that gamma bullet is going smoothly? It's going, but I'm not. Oh? I was this close to getting Faustus to spill his guts. This close! Then friggin' poof! Crossbones turns his ass to ash with his magic bullet. Our forces are strained enough trying to keep up with Hydra. We could have used his intel. We will prevail without whatever Hydra secrets Faustus had tucked away in his head. Well, we don't really have a choice now, do we? God, I would have loved to have had the chance to interrogate that bastard. I had been waiting so long to get some one-on-one -on -one skull pounding time with him. What a waste. Speaking of crushing Hydra skulls, I'm pretty sure Caretaker is waiting for you at the table with another mission. Let me know if you want me to join on whatever errand she sends you on. I could use some demon pounding time, or at least some of the pent-up aggression I was saving for Faustus. I will let you know, Captain. Carol. Call me Carol. Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. Got it! I'm used to being outnumbered at this point. of Lilith. As a child, I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. The advantage is mine. for you!
Lilith must be desperate if these are her best. They cannot possibly match your strength. Follow my lead. Changes nothing. in their approach. Strike. This should be fun. The light will carry you onward.
shit! When many of the Elder Gods were corrupted and became what we would call demons, the God Atum, born from Gaia herself, was set upon our world to slay these monsters. In that sense, the two of you have had a shared purpose. Fight well, Hunter, and he may just honor you with his blessing. Not much has changed among the world's fanatics.
Lilith has sent you here to die. I hope you are prepared. Unleashed and made quick work of the demons. In the he even became known as the Demogorg, the God. If this is a cautionary tale, your timing could use some work. They have an answer for this. Leave some for the rest of us. Hoping to Just imagine how much more difficult this would be if Charlie wasn't there to join you. I think you owe her a treat after this. Too weak for this fight. I had hoped for a half. Your mother abandons you. The advantage is mine. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago.
I'm afraid you might be I think Blade is honestly jealous that you're getting this extra training in. And with live targets, too. They cannot possibly match your strength. Walk in the light. to the mother of demons will be your undoing. Child the servants of Lily. Now I teach them to be doesn't make an impression on Autumn, I don't know what will. Good work, Hunter. With a tomb's health, you shouldn't have any trouble uncovering the more elusive elements hidden throughout the grounds. Why don't you try out his blessing on that stone over there? He sees our path.
Something terrible happened here. This area, it feels wrong somehow. I sense an old suffering. Members of the local coven were persecuted here. And worse. Witches? Salem's history with witches may have been distorted over the years, but some things are true. The witches of Salem did their best to thwart Shaw, but he rallied his congregation against them. The catalyst of the infamous Salem Witch Trials. When the Coven called out in distress, it was Lilith and Sarah who came to their aid. They came all the way from Transia, with the Abbey, to help a group they had never met? You may not believe it, but I'm sure you would have done the same. Isn't that why the Sons are here today? Aside from that, your mother and Sarah both saw the signs of Cathan's influence. They knew there was more happening in Salem than the persecution of witches. Cathan's corruption had taken root in the New World, just like the colonists themselves. And while Lilith and Sarah were still preoccupied in Transia, they entrusted one of the Moon Seals to the Knights of Wondercore who brought it to the Coven, with the hope that its power would reinforce them enough to deal with Shaw. But that is not what happened. Unfortunately, no. When the plague came to Salem, the same one that afflicted your father, Shaw used it to further agitate his flock by placing the blame squarely on the Coven. And the witches? The mob was vicious. And the rest is history. But what about the Moon Seal? After the trials, the Moon Seal vanished along with Shaw. Without drawing any conclusions, I think we can both guess where it went. If this was his church, then it is possible the seal is still here, or somewhere nearby. You read my mind. Good hunting, dear. This must be Shaw's study. Noble Oshtor guides my hand. is not like anything I have seen on the grounds before. And yet, it's familiar somehow. 
Like the wards of protection that Wanda invoked to protect Doctor Strange's sanctum? Very perceptive, dear. Maybe you should approach the good doctor and see if he has any insights. And Hunter, be circumspect. Doctor Strange is no fool. Ah, Hunter, I was just admiring the collection. Someone spent a great deal of time piecing this library together. I hope you don't mind me, uh, having a look around. Of course not, Doctor. The library is an asset to us all. I see I'm not the only one who's taken an interest in these works. You haven't been getting into anything precarious, I hope. We... I have found something on the Abbey grounds that I think you should see. Oh, sounds mysterious. By all means, lead the way. I typically avoid venturing this far from the Abbey, especially at night. It makes Tony nervous, you see. Not in the, I'm concerned about your personal well-being, Doctor Sense. There's an unsettling air about this place. This church belonged to a preacher named Hiram Shaw. His influence turned Salem against its coven. A charismatic personality and a fearful populace can do much evil together. There was more to it than that. Yes, I suspected as much. I think he's actually more afraid of what might happen to my side of the forge without proper supervision. Which, to be fair, is a valid concern. And in most cases, I'm perfectly content to bide my time studying safely indoors. But I'm sure there's nothing to fear with you by my side, Hunter. Right, to bring this to my attention, Hunter. I thought it resembled one of your wards of protection. There's a reason for that. It's the same magic Wanda invoked in her attempts to protect the Sanctum. But what is it that you're chasing out here? These wards aren't something to toy with. I will not know for sure until I get past this. Is there any way to dispel it? Unfortunately, no. What good would the wards of protection be if they were so easily broken? But I have been wrong before, at least recently. Do you have any suspicions as to who may have conjured this here? Wanda spent a great deal of time out here, and she had the power. She does have some experience with these spells. But why would she do that? The only way I will know for sure is to find a way through to the other side. I'll think on it and see if I can come up with some way to assist you, Hunter. For now, though, you'll have to be patient. Blade? What is it? Caught a scent around the Abbey that doesn't belong. It's faint, not enough for anyone else to notice, but it hit me again tonight. How's that dog of yours when it comes to tracking? You two up for a little hunt? I'm sure Charlie could help. And I might be useful, too. After you. You sure that dog knows where she's going? No, but I trust her instincts. At least you're honest. Charlie will be the first to let us know if she cannot find the way. You two have a lot of conversations. I can tell you never had a dog before, Blade. Never got a chance as a kid. Too risky these days in my line of work. Maybe you just need to find the right dog. Haven't found a breed yet. The vamps won't eat out of spite. Oh. I see what you mean. I can still smell it. That thing is out here somewhere.
Now I remember why I stay in the Abbey at night. This place gives me the creeps, and I've seen some stuff. That looked like... Some kind of jacked up shadow hound. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we just found the bar guest. But it can't be. The what? The bar guest. Legendary demon dog of the old country. Kind of thing you'd hear stories about around the campfire. A shadow hound could easily be mistaken for a spirit, but how would it have gotten here? Good question, but we're not going to find the answer tonight. Let's head back before caretaker locks the doors on us. <laughs> 